Fastest Racing Week anywhere in Australia. One of the greatest race days in the world. They're racing in the derby. The Melbourne Cup Carnival is kicking off with Penfold's Victoria Derby Day. It's all over. Blitzes them in the derby. Victoria Key takes the lead. The atmosphere is absolutely electric. What a ride. What a win. Penfold's Victoria Derby Day. Live from 12 Saturday on 10 and Template on Demand. We are bringing it home. This is the first place. This is where we first struck gold. This is the making of the 2021 Lexus Melbourne Cup. It's the euphoric, unmatched excitement of a moment like no other. But it's what occurs beforehand that really makes it special. The hard work, the determination, the long nights, the early mornings, the focus, artistry, and expertise coming together to bring it to life. It's more than a trophy. With gold sourced from Victoria, Australia, where the discovery of gold led to a gold rush that brought the world to our doorstep and transformed the nation. In this golden age, the first Melbourne Cup was run. Over near the inside rail, going easy. Early on, the prize was cash and gold. Later, the trophy became the Loving Cup, which is now valued at over $275,000. This year, the gold for the cup is supplied by Kirkland Lake Gold from their Fosterville mine. Here, raw material is extracted and brought to ABC Bullion, where it's refined until it's four nines. 99.99% pure. Then it's handcrafted to the Victoria Racing Club's exacting specifications. Each element meticulously crafted. It's the history. The tradition. It's the race that not only stops a nation, it pauses the world. This year, crafted from gold, from the birthplace, the Australian Gold Rush. This is the rush. The rush of the race. And our story of the 2021 Lexus Melbourne Cup. who's captured the hearts of a nation and on Tuesday the Queensland Galloper will go into the Lexus Melbourne Cup the shortest price favourite since Farlap to take a closer look at him we welcome our form analyst our form guru in David Gately <laughs> you are yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not oversell it no. yeah clearly Gator <laughs> on it. Tuesday he's got to do something that he hasn't done before go over 3200 metres he'll meet a few that he hasn't met before mm. the question is how good is he 
Well, coming into this spring, I thought to myself, and said it publicly, he might just be a freak. He might just be something extraordinary. To, and what do freaks do? They do extraordinary things. And winning by big margins, running amazing times, often making two and three runs in a race. So everything about him tells me he's an endurance beast, an endurance athlete, and he'll run the trip right. He's the one to beat and a rightful favourite. Well, the entree of sorts is, of course, Derby Day. And we've got four Group 1s on the program. It all kicks off with the Empire Rose for the Phillies. Yeah, it does. And uh, it's, a, it's a terrific addition this year. I mean, you've got horses in sparkling form that are, you know, 20 and 30 to 1. So... I wouldn't talk anyone out of a uh, selection in the race. Um, I'm with Tefane on top, but uh, it's a cracking, it's probably one of the best editions that race I've seen. You'll hear Gator to find us winners, and that's what all <laughs> the punters out there want to know. Uh, let's have a look at the horses that you, you want to be with on uh, Derby Day in the features. And the Penfolds Victoria Derby is the premium event on day one, and there's two both owned by the same interests mm. and similar colours that you like here, Hitotsu and Forgot You. Yeah, it'd be a sleepless night for those owners. Yeah. Uh, I get nervous before a maiden. Uh, <laughs> a couple of these horses ran enormous in a Caulfield Guineas. Hitotsu uh, was only second up. He's the horse back on the inside in the red hat and Forgot You highlighted for you coming down the outside. Now, Forgot You actually runs home the equal fastest of, of the race, uh, which tells you he wants further. Hitotsu, similarly, was under pressure a long way from home and he responded to that. Again, that tells me he wants further. Animo wins the race, of course, uh, narrowly beaten in a Cox Plate. So, look, I think they both have a, a strong seat at the, the table. Hitotsu is the one trying to be a little unorthodox. Mm. 1,600 to 2,500, not easy to do. And they don't have a great record out of the race, the Guineas into the, the Derby, do they? They have to go back to the 50s to wow. see a horse that's gone from the Caulfield Guineas, 1,600 metres, into the Derby. 2,500 metres would be some performance if he can do that. Tell us about the Coolmore Stud Stakes. This is Millionaire's Row. This is mm. where the stallions of the future, if they can win this, they're on easy street. Could be worth something like you, Gator. $20 million. Oh, pocket change. Um, <laughs> it, it, it has become one of the greatest races on, on the calendar, and the horse I wanted to highlight was Extreme Warrior. He sort of come from nowhere. He won a maiden before this at Echuca, and uh, the, here he's tracks a solid speed. He races away with big margins behind. Always a good sign. Plenty of merit on the clock home. A really strong last 600 figure. And, you know, if you want to win, win races, whether you're a horse or a, or a human athlete, you've got to be fast. And he's fast. He's been sensational this time mm. in. Uh, the question mark is Sydney Form V Melbourne Form and Godolphin is gang tackling it with three, yep. including Pulele. How do you rate them? Oh, highly. I think there's, you know, if you can get Extreme Warrior beaten, there's a lot of a lot of uh, dangers. A lot of horses in Sydney running really quick times up there as well. And pulele has got form around in the Congo who then beat Animo. Mm. So it easily ties together. And Gaddy, taking our attention through to the Lexus Melbourne Cup, who do you mm. like in it? Well, uh, we're still doing our homework, um, but I think the um, I think incentivised deserves to be favourite without knuckling down to the full form yet. Um, what he's been doing, as I say, is a bit freakish. I think if there's a, a local chance outside of incentivised, if he doesn't stand up, a horse like Grand Promise.